What is going on everybody? This is Dave from DGR with another Super Mario Odyssey video. So in today's video, we're actually taking on a challenge that a friend of mine in Discord sent me. So the challenge that we are taking on, we're actually taking on the Scooter Dinosaur Escape in New Donk City, but we're doing it with a little bit of a twist. And that little twist is we're actually going to attempt to beat the challenge without using the scooter. So to get to this challenge, you're going to want to warp to this area right over here on the western side, uh, northwestern side of New Donk City, the outdoor cafe area. So when you warp there, now what I personally, I cannot remember for the life of me, if this challenge unlocks after you beat the game or if you have it right off the bat. I honestly can't remember. I think you can unlock it once you've beaten the game. But anyways, uh, you'll come to this door here, this corner, uh, the corner of Rambi and Cruel. Um, so you go inside this open door here and you'll instantly see a scooter here So typically what you what you do you get on the scooter um, and you start Start driving on the scooter here and all of a sudden the t-rex drops out of the sky wearing some aerial binoculars Chasing you wow is he fast? Um, so we're gonna try and see if we can actually beat this challenge uh, without using the scooter so I'm gonna go ahead and let the let the dinosaur eat me here or just fall off and we'll start the challenge up let's see if it's possible <laughs> all right just a quick thing before we get started I do want to apologize in advance for my jiggle I'm gonna be shaking the controller uh, very vigorously to give Mario the maximum amount of speed possible so hopefully we can beat the dinosaur so without further ado let's start the challenge all right so here we go guys we're gonna make our way to the rings and let's start it up here. Oh gosh. I've not tried this yet, I don't know. Oh gosh, no, no. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Wow. So the first time I actually played this, um, I had no idea. When the dinosaur fell out of the sky, it like it like freaked me out, man. I was like, what is going on right now? Um It felt like it felt like something directly out of Oh gosh, no! Felt like something directly out of Jurassic Park. Two hours later. Alright, he does that. There we go. There we go. No, 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 no! That was it! That was it! That was it! Alright, we got it figured out now. We got it figured out now, boys. We got this. Alright, guys, I'm starting to get out of breath. I literally am sweating. This is no joke. Um, I have found that long, smooth strokes seem to be working better than the short, vigorous strokes. I don't know. It just seems to be easier on my arms, which are dead at this point. But that seems to uh, seems to be good. So as soon as he he as soon as he bites, that's our opportunity to uh, switch paths there. All right, come on. Oh, oh, we did it. We freaking did it. Call me Michael Jackson, baby. We just beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Yes. We have proved that it is possible to do it, the Escape the Dinosaur Scooter Challenge without actually using the scooter. That was a crazy difficult challenge, at least for me. So if you want to try this at home, I recommend doing it just for the workout that you get. My gosh, my arms are freaking dead, like, from shaking. Oh, my goodness. But, nonetheless, we did prove that it's possible, and that was a really fun challenge. Despite the... <sighs> despite the sweat, despite my dry mouth, despite everything else, it was still really fun and still, re still really cool to try. So thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.